So hello everyone, we are here at the What Hi-Fi exhibition and we are at the Macintosh Group's booth which represents Macintosh amplification, Sonus power speakers and the Sumiko cartridges. And with me is Mr. Ron who has been with Macintosh Group for more than 30 years and he has had many titles and we are going to ask him the questions about what makes Macintosh so special in the Hi-Fi segment. That's, that's a pretty uh, big question there. <laughs> I think uh, compared to other products that are at the upper end of the industry, uh, we touch all bases. So turntables, CD players, you right. can have an AM FM tuner, a multiple of preamps, power amps, loudspeakers, and then we have the same thing for uh, multi-channel, home theater. We also have custom install products. And now with the new AV receiver that you guys have recently launched in India, which is the MHT 300. Yes. This is your first AV receiver as a whole, right? Uh, ever. Like, we have always seen AV separates, like power amps and the preprocessors. We actually had, had two about okay. 20 years ago, and they were very popular. MHT 100 and 200. Oh, that's the reason this is 300 now. That's right. And why was it discontinued back then? Um, it was very physically large. And it cost about the same amount this did. Okay. And but it had less power and no HDMI because it was all yellow cable video back then. So this should do very well because it's kind of a bargain compared to that. So with the MST 300, what would be the right uh, kind of speakers that anyone should go for in the Sonos power range? Well, I I wouldn't want to limit it to that. I, I mean, anybody people fall in love with speakers and they have their favorite brand. What we're trying to do here is deliver enough power to every channel, real horsepower. Okay. Not, not, you don't need a subwoofer under it. Yeah. So it's full range. You can have a subwoofer if you want. So the whole idea is to bring more dynamic range. Right. Dealers that have put it in the store said it sounds, their system, their speakers sound bigger and clearer than just a normal home theater process or receiver rack. So okay. mission accomplished. That's nice. And uh, I mean, you know, the tube amps from Sonos, uh, from Macintosh, has always been special too. Like we can see out here as well. Yes, so, everything we're showing here is tube preamp and transistor okay. output section. So this is easy to live with. So could you just explain our viewers, like what all things or you know, how are the components placed and what is for what? So we have two tubes for the right channel, two for the left. Okay. The amplifiers transistors, right. because tube amplifiers are the part that, that are, are more expensive to maintain, the power tubes. These small tubes, they may last 10,000 hours or more. Okay. You may change those every 10 years, depending on how much you use it. It's a pretty simple unit. We have a little OLED screen on the front. The tubes have LEDs under them. Right now it's warming up. So you see the tubes are in orange. Now once it, the voltage is stabilized, it gets ready to play, they'll turn green. They'll turn green. See, that was on cue, it was supposed to turn So they're supposed to be on green. And there what do you go. have over here? Now it's ready to play and it ramped the, vol the volume back up to where we left it. So. Cute little unit, very, very popular around the world. Okay, so this is the volume bar, which shows 21%. It shows percent. Okay, and with regards to the inputs, what all things does it carry? Like, does it, is, is it purely analog or yes. does it have any? No digital. No digital. Not everybody wants digital and everything. We have digital in a lot of products. So right. This is one, and it has a bigger brother called okay. the 352 that's twice as power. And, so this is the 252 and then you this have... This is the baby and it has VU meters on this panel. Okay. Because it has more room and that, that one. So this series has been a hit. And how's the Indian market been for Macintosh overall? Good. Because you've been here since how much? Like 20 plus years now in India? That the Macintosh has been selling? I don't know that history. Okay. I, I don't think we've ever put the effort into it that we're putting now. Okay. Where we have, you know, real employees that live here. It's, yes. It's, that's nice. Not a flyby. Yeah, not a flyby. So with Yusuf being around, I mean, you know, I'm sure it has been really a great boost for all of you guys out there. I, I like coming to India. The people are very nice. The food's good. Yeah. Great. So uh, thank you so much for your time. Okay, Ron. thank you. Okay. Bye-bye And now. we genuinely look forward to the MHT 300 installations in this country more and more. Right. So this was about Macintosh. Amplification, let us understand the Macintosh speakers, which is the Sonos Faber range of speakers. So, this is the Lumina. The Lumina is the first series from Sonos Faber, which is the entry level, as they call it. But that entry level also would start from two and a half to three lakh rupees for a pair of low standing speakers. 
Then we have got the Sonetos. They also have a lot of custom installed speakers. So the PC series or the PL series, that's another speaker. So these are all ceiling angled, in walls, all the speakers. I've even got a cool on wall speaker out here. This is the new series, which is the Astra series, which is all weatherproof speaker, which you can install in your terrace or in your outdoors. All weatherproof, so no problem with it. Then we have the Maxima Amateur. That's the floor standing speaker and the Olympica Nova. The good part about this is that it does not need grills. This is the grill for it. So it looks very classy, looks very neat. I mean, you know, something which you can definitely flaunt in your living rooms or a dedicated music listening rooms or the dens. And yeah, if at all you're looking at a theater room, which is 30 feet onwards, I think the Arena series from Sonus Faber is definitely worth considering for your LCRs. So you've got multiple drivers and the speaker is as tall as six feet. So that's the size of it. Then we have the Sonus Faber Omnia, which is going to be soon released as an all-in-one video soon. So make sure to hit the subscribe button for that. And the Omnia is an all-in-one speaker, which has got HDMI ERC, has got fantastic touch panel buttons out here on the top. And you can also control this or use this with a turntable because it is the only product which has got the Phono MM line input.